uh, there are parts of Obamacare that, uh, or the Affordable Care Act, that have been postponed because they are unpalatable. Mm -hmm. So as, as these provisions uh, come into effect, uh, the administration thus far is saying, Gee, we, we really can't handle this right now, so we're going to delay it. These, these obligations keep piling up. Mm -hmm. uh, the mandatory uh, you know, registration, the, the penalties, it's going to hit the fan. Mm -hmm. uh, because you know, anybody, and any individual with a, a individual health care plan that exceeds $10,200 uh, is in a Cadillac plan situation, they're going to have to pay that employer if they provide that, and many do today, never mind in 2018, mm -hmm. Uh, will have to pay a 40% tax on the amount over uh, the minimum established, or the, excuse me, the maximum established under the Affordable Care Act. So that's a huge tax. It'll be the first time in this country's history that we have actually taxed health care. We used to treat it like food, that people would die without it. Don't tax that. Right. Well, we're, we're in a new day now. I think it'll be impossible for a repeal right now because you've taken on 31 million new people. You're, you know, you're providing, you're trying to provide health care to them. Um, that's a good thing. The problem has always been paying for it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you've got to rely on the other individuals who already have health care to pay for that. And at the same time, you've made a promise to those those individuals, those that 270 million people that already had health care, that your health care will either be the same or will be improved by this. And I, I think that's a very tough promise to live up to under this system. 